We're going to find out if she has any empathy. I suspect she will fail this. There'll be a complete There's no lack. no pass or fail. Lack of empathy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Brick Punch Moments. Today, we're doing something totally new. We are going to test the brains of our fuzzy little buddies. Have you ever wondered what's going on in those little heads of theirs? If anything. Are they thinking about us? Do they love us? Food. Squirrel. 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 <gasps> See? The mom was inspired by... This Time Magazine. All about inside the canine brain. And uh, one of the articles... Brain. 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 <laughs> brain. So inside the magazine, there was an article about this website called Dognition. And on that website, there are games you can play with your dog. To find out where their strengths are, weaknesses, personality types, all that. And they'll tell you what kind of dog you have. They have nine different profiles. The ace. The charmer. Yeah. Socialite. Socialite. Expert. More him than her, though. Renaissance. Dog. It's kind of like a jack of all trades. Next, proto dog, which means they're flexible and spontaneous. Einstein. <laughs> then we have Maverick. Maverick. Independent problem solvers. And stargazers. Seen as aloof and struggle in social situations. All right, so the first step in this project will be to rate the dogs. Well, our prediction. So the first trait is empathy, and I gave Baxter a very high rating in empathy. He is very bonded. Uh, for communication, he's a little bit okay. Sometimes he doesn't really understand what we're trying to tell him. Trustworthy versus Wiley, he can be trustworthy, but then, you know, he'll go and find a sock and eat it. Uh, for memory, Baxter has a fairly decent memory. Except for socks, socks that almost yeah. kill him. He has an eating disorder. It's called pika. Look it up. P I C A. Is that when you eat mud? That's when you eat non food. And finally, a range uh, between impulsive all the way up to logical thinking. This is the Kirk versus Spock section. Okay, so this is Cricket by the Yogi by the Mom. I'm a little more severe on the individualistic, but you can see we're actually pretty close. Okay, we are in the basement. And we're ready for our first dognition test. The dog's are really hyper about it. They're super excited. They, they want to show off their brains. This has nothing to do with the brain test. Now for the yawn warm up, apparently we say yellow every five seconds for 30 seconds and we see if Baxter yawns. Sounds a little weird. This is the yawn game. Begin. Baxter yawn. <laughs> no, but I was I allowed to look at the brainiac's turn? Sit. Good job. Sit. Good job. Cricket. Sit. That's not sitting. Let's begin. Yellow. Did Cricket yawn? Yes, she, <laughs> yes did. she did. Does that mean you win, Cricket? I had thought it was gonna be the other way around. Uh, how surprising were Cricket's choices? Eight. Ooh. Now it's time for our second game. We're gonna yawn at Cricket first, and uh, apparently, if she yawns back, it shows intriguing cognitive abilities. We're gonna find out if she has any empathy. I suspect she will fail this. There'll be a complete no lack. No pass or fail. Lack of empathy. Here we go. Yeah. 
Did Cricket yawn? No. As I suspected complete lack of empathy yawning coming from Cricket, Baxter's turn. Baxter yawn. He did. <laughs> Definite yawning by Baxter. Yep. Not sure if that's good or bad. But... Yeah. So Baxter definitely yawned, and now we submit our answer. Baxter's already cramming for the eye contact final. <laughs> he glances for a second. So what do you show us what you have to do? Show Baxter that I have a treat in my hand. You see that? Treat. And then I put it up here. Okay, on your cheek. And you see if you can hold eye contact for 10 seconds. Give him the treat. So for this one, Baxter has to maintain gaze for as long as possible. If he turns away for two seconds, we stop the timer. Baxter? Good boy. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's bad, but I'm kind of rooting for Baxter. You know, he's old and he's 11 and Cricket's got an attitude. The mom's going to tell us the results. Baxter's empathy scores were off the charts, which I totally expected. Empathy is the ability to feel what someone else is feeling. Humans are extremely empathetic. If most dogs are bonded to their owners, Baxter absolutely adores you. Yeah, I kind of knew that. <laughs> so on the empathy scale, individualistic, Baxter is, oh, off the charts. So now it's, it's going to get ugly. Because <laughs> Cricket's up. Up next, that one. Cricket. Start the timer. Cricket? Give her the treat. Good girl, Cricket. You did 90 seconds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever you're ready. Cricket? on her third one. Cricket's empathy score was off the charts, but not quite as off the chart as Baxter. It's very, very high though, which doesn't completely surprise me. But Baxter's parabolic. And there she is. Well, I, I'm surprised she's higher than I thought she'd be. <laughs> but we think it's bonded to food, not to the <laughs> mom. And I think the results could have been different had it been you or one of the kids doing it because she really is bonded with me. She's my baby, right girl? Are you my little baby girl? Hey, you're the daughter I never had. Very hairy daughter. Yes, great hair. There you go, folks. Part one of Dognition, testing their brains. Uh, it looks like Baxter squeaked out a win. What do you think about that, Cricket? I don't know if they're ever gonna get over this. Well, we'll just have to wait to see if Cricket can pull it out in part two. So stay tuned, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all under Brook Bunch TV, and consider becoming a patron of us uh, by following this link here, uh, and that would really help us out. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you later. Say bye, dogs. Kids always fighting.